Hi, uh, my name is uh, Fleur Ferguson. I'm an assistant professor at UCSD. I'm very excited to be a co-organizer of the Keystone Proximity-Based Therapeutics Meeting, uh, targeted protein degradation and other pharmacological approaches uh, that's being held this February the 16th through the 19th, uh, 2025 in Santa Fe. Uh, yeah, hi, I'm uh, Phil Chamberlain. I'm a, a co-founder and CEO at Neomorph Incorporated. Um, we're a targeted protein degradation company based in San Diego, California. For the 2025 Keystone meeting, um, the meetings are actually being combined. Uh, in the past, there were uh, proximity uh, themed meetings and there were also targeted protein degradation meetings and, and those will be combined. Um, we imagine that there'll be a huge amount of uh, cross fertilizations and learnings that are appropriate across that entire spectrum. So I think that's um, that's very exciting. Um, but now we're seeing this wave of the next generation of molecules which have really deep molecular packages that, you know, they've been deployed in the clinic and there are lessons from those that can feed back into the next wave of, uh, of new discoveries. So um, what we've tried to do with the meeting is we've tried to capture some of the um, uh, clinical data that's arisen from some of those projects, as well as um, you know some of the uh, hot new chemical biology findings that are appearing re you know, really on a weekly basis at this point. So I think this meeting is fantastic because it's going to be all one track. So you'll be able to attend all the sessions, which is a big challenge with some meetings where you want to go to all the talks. Um, we've set it up so that every single talk in the program we think is very exciting. We have many uh, scientists who will be presenting currently unpublished stories uh, that We've, we've seen and we think are uh, really field changing. Um, we also think it's gonna be a bit different in that we're, uh, as Phil had mentioned, covering really the full breadth and picking out some very exciting pieces all the way from structural biology and the basic science of the ubiquitin system through to kind of new modalities and then all the way through to clinical discoveries and clinical applications. Uh, and we have a really fantastic international lineup of speakers. So these may be speakers that you might not see in every meeting, depending on your region, they're all gonna be in one place. So that's very exciting. I think a great feature of this meeting is that um, we're from both industry and academia. And so we've been able to bring together really the best of both worlds. So from the more early basic science side, we're gonna have uh, molecular and structural biology induced proximity sessions, um, highlighting the basic science discoveries they're enabling as a translational work. We're also gonna have some academic speakers talking about ways to apply targeted protein degradation to new species such as, such as bacteria, um, as well as new modalities um, and new types of induced proximity. With my research interests, um, I'm always interested uh, when people are able to, to hijack a new piece of the cellular machinery. Um, you know, I spent a lot of my career working on, um, you know, the prototype uh, system for molecular glues, which is a, a protein called Cerebron. And so every time one of these new systems is enabled, um, it, it enables this wonderful compare and contrast um, with that system. Of course, we, you know, we're all watching across the field to see if there's going to be something that has the same clinical potential. Um, and obviously there'll be a, a, a huge amount of, uh, of uh, uh, industrial and uh, clinical applications uh, when those things do appear. We have some fantastic early career speakers uh, from academia. And so I'm really interested in hearing about uh, the new research that's going on in their labs and in their careers. Um, because I think that that's always um, so exciting when there's a new direction that you haven't really heard about before. You know, I think the way we've set it up, where it goes, the sessions go from the very basics all the way through to the clinic, will give people a view of how their research interests really fit into the big picture story. And I think will allow people to not only find collaborators, but also better design their studies, understanding the foundations that they're built on and where they may be heading in terms of helping human health. Yeah, so as part of the meeting, there will be the opportunity, we'll uh, make sure that there are, uh, for example, there'll be a career round table um, in which um, people at all stages of their career um, will get to mix with people that have uh, um, 
uh, made it further down the road, both in academia and in industry. Um, you know, these are obviously fantastic opportunities to, to network, um, to put real, uh, you know, faces and uh, interactions to names from uh, papers. We'll also be hosting a Women in Targeted Protein Degradation and Induced Proximity event that we're very excited to invite everyone to. Since TPD can be applied to so many areas, we also think that folks who have a specific disease interest, where, whether it's academia, uh, in companies, or in foundations, uh, may be interested to learn more about the field and how it can be applied to their specific areas. So uh, we anticipate that people who are just entering the field, maybe students, um, as well as people who are further in their career but are interested in applying induced proximity and TPD approaches, or maybe looking for collaborators, might be interested to attend as well. Um, it's a very welcoming field. Uh, it's grown rapidly. It's very friendly. Uh, we have a huge uh, breadth in terms of the topics that we're all studying and so um, I'd really encourage anyone who's interested to apply. Yeah, I think actually that's a really, really, really good point. Um, I think, you know, if uh, if you are um, a disease focused uh, uh, scientist um, and you have a, a problem for which um, you know, other modalities have struggled to find a solution. And I think actually, um, you know, learning about what is possible now uh, with these with these new modalities, I think, you know, the, um, I think there certainly should be a, a, a large number of people uh, willing to uh, um, uh, uh, try and rise to that challenge. So, uh, yeah, so I think that's a really, really great point. We're really looking forward to welcoming everyone to the meeting. Uh, a reminder that if you are interested in submitting an abstract for a short talk, uh, those are going to be due on the 12th of November. We have a number of spots uh, and we really hope to encourage trainees uh, to, to apply and present their work. And posted applications will be accepted uh, up to three weeks before the meeting. Uh, so we hope you will join us and present your work.